why and where what's their name it's time to share who are we about to meet it's the patriot of the week Chaim Solomon was born in Poland in 1740 into a Jewish family before immigrating to New York City in 1775. There, he established himself as an influential financial broker for merchants engaged in overseas trade before the outbreak of the Revolutionary War. Solomon joined the New York branch of the Sons of Liberty, and he was arrested in 1776 as a spy. After being detained on a ship for 18 months, Solomon was released, only to then get arrested for spying again, and he was sentenced to death. But he escaped and returned to New York and resumed his life as a broker. There, he worked extensively with Robert Morris, who was the superintendent for finance for the 13 colonies. Solomon's fundraising and personal lending helped provide the equivalent of $16 million to George Washington and the Continental Army, and Solomon personally supported various leaders in the revolution. Solomon requested below market interest rates, never asked for repayment, and is said to have outright granted bequests to some of the unsung heroes of the revolution. Solomon died in 1785 when he was only 45 years old, but he played an instrumental role in establishing American independence.